Yeah, I'm excited. Um, I feel a lot more prepared this year and just even, you know, little things like having been to most of these schools now and knowing what to expect um, as far as the facilities go and the field and that kind of stuff and just the area that we're going to. Um, yeah, I've got a huge class, obviously, that that just came about half the team and there's a lot of newness and a lot of still figuring out a lot of things as far as you know who's going where what's the best combination on the field um, but it's been an awesome start here these first two weeks the girls have done an incredible job of just um, just taking you know the older players taking the younger players in and the younger players have been really really respectful and um, I can already see some awesome friendships forming so it's been fun. Yeah, but I think there's just so many things that you can't actually be prepared for until you step into it. And so there's just a ton of learning the first year and really thankful for it. I feel like I learned a ton um, just as a coach and just as even off the field, like all the administrative stuff that goes into running a program and recruiting and all that stuff. Um, I feel like I just every day was a lot of learning and I'm still continuing to learn, but I just have a better idea of, you know, what to expect and just, you know, how are we going to move forward? What are the actual ways that are going to work moving this team forward, both on and off the field? Um, but I do think last year we implemented a, a lot of things that have, you know, carried over into this year and have really helped. Um, we've got some great leadership um, in our captains and our servant team, um, just people, players who've really stepped up and want what's best for the team and want what's best for their teammates. And so that's really helped, I think, with um, continuing to move the culture where we're trying to go. Yeah, I'd say culture is more important than the actual X's and O's and all the tactics and all that stuff. Um, I think culture off the field translates on the field as well. And so, yeah, we pour a ton of time into um, our leaders and equipping them. Um, I mean, I was in leadership positions my whole life, but I never really knew what that meant. Like, okay, what's my role? And so trying to communicate, okay, here's your role. Um, here's what we expect of you. And then here's some things that are going to equip you to, to be the best version of you as a leader. Um, we try not to put him in a box and be like, okay, you have to be this kind of a captain or this kind of a senior or leader, but who are you? and what are you good at and how can we help you step into that so yeah that's been great and then just preseason was um, a lot of soccer but also a lot of culture building and so we did a bunch of small group stuff we took a team retreat to a lake house um, in Tennessee and just did a lot of intentional relationship building um, they already do it on their own I always see them eating lunch together and grabbing coffee with different players but I think um, us having some very intentional things that we're going to talk through um, for example we defined what is success going to look like for us this year um, because you know we tell them all the time like it's not just about winning well okay winning is part of it it's not just about that but what are the other ways that we're actually going to define success um, I do not think competition is a bad thing I think um, the way that our world has defined it is okay I need to beat you um, but we have redefined it you know competition is can we strive together can we show up can I show up and work my hardest so that you're actually becoming your best and can you do the same for me and so um, that's a hard thing to actually keep in perspective but um, I've got a great staff and leaders that remind me of that when I forget it um, so um, so yeah competitive competitiveness and wanting to win is not a bad thing and I think that can carry over into a lot of other areas and, and helping to um, move a culture forward change a culture um, draw more out of people. Um, I'm competitive in the sense like I want I want to see people's best and so you know trying to pull that out of each player is a huge challenge for me and I love it. Um, there's a couple things that we look for. Um, one is just the character and culture part that's um, the most important and so we'll talk to them about you know what our team is all about. We've got these three team values excellence, grace, and humility um, which it's we can explain those to them but to actually see it is really important and so we try to get them to campus hang out with our team, watch a practice, watch a game, and kind of experience the culture that's going to be different and so you know excellence the first team value is um, not striving for perfection but you know how we believe that how you do one thing is how you do everything so these little details like cleaning up the locker room um, how you show up for training like what you're are you wearing the right clothes um, are you on time are you getting to class are you getting your work done um, all those things we think add up those little details um, and so we try to hold them accountable to those um, and then um, just off the field again the culture piece of you know people that want to be a great teammate people that want to be um, humility is our third value so like asking asking your players to choose to serve their teammates and choose to put other people before them when you've got a team of people doing that it's incredible because everybody's looking to others to, to see like wow how can I love and how can I serve my teammates and when everybody's doing that it creates this really cool space so I'm um, just explaining that to the recruits and letting them experience it um, is really important because some of them are like yeah I don't 
I don't want to be at a place like this. Like I want to be at a place where I'm going to get a lot of glory. Um, mm. So that's fine. That's that's great. And this is not going to be that place. Um, and then just on the field, obviously people who want to win, we're looking for very competitive players, um, blue collar, just want to work hard. That's most important for us. Um, and just players that want that are hungry to win and want to go deep into the NCAA tournament. So kind of the both and um, we're looking for those types of players here. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of new this year. Um, so have nine new freshmen, and so we had three exhibition games, and um, that's kind of been a process of figuring out, you know, who is best in which spot and who combines well together. Um, haven't totally figured that out yet, which is okay. We still got a couple games before conference play starts. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I think we've got um, in that youth is. It, is excitement because they just don't even they don't know what's happening so we played Carson Newman the other day number two team in the country and the freshmen had no idea what was about to hit them and they I thought they did a great job and um, I think um, the ignorance was bliss and they just went out there and worked hard and um, I love that so um, a lot of newness and then also we've got a great senior class who has a ton of experience and um, I think they've done an incredible job of just taking the younger players under their wing. They easily could have kind of checked out and done their own thing, but they have been very intentional in just welcoming the freshmen. And I think on and off the field, I've watched a lot of people step up, not just captains, but um, all the seniors in their own way, just stepping into their role and um, and helping these younger players to, to kind of adapt to the new culture. Mm -hmm.